Look, I notice that you have Homelander here. Yep. I never see any boys fan art. <laughs> but you've touched he's touched my soul in so many different ways today. <laughs> you got the boys fan art. Got the boys, man. Gotta do the boys. <laughs> You're here with Cosplay Alliance. We're at Emerald City Comic Con yeah. once again. I am here with the very distinguished artist, <laughs> Ash Gonzalez. How you doing? Doing all right, sir. Doing good. Now, I'm looking at your work. Oh, yeah. Right. Simply stunning. Thank you. Simply amazing. Uh, what got you into art? Oh, man. It's, it's the stuff I grew up with. Fantastic Four, X-Men. X-Men, especially X-Men. Yes. And the, the cartoon yes. in the 90s. Nice. Yes, man. That got me hooked. And then reading the comics, knowing the backstories of the characters, and then I just wanted to bring him to life. The one artist that really did it for me was Alex Ross, because he brought all that stuff Alex to life Ross, with the way yes. he painted it. Man, it, it, it just opened up the whole door in my head. So I kind of wanted to do the same thing and then kind of do my own style. And then I just fell into painting uh, celebrities and stuff. Speaking of style, like, you actually have quite couple different styles I'm not seeing like one distinct style how would you explain your style it's, it's more realism realism but I like to like kind of maybe every once in a while dab into like maybe some um, some abstractness kind of okay. but not that my brain still kind of tend to like well actually you know what I graduated with a animation degree in 3d okay. so when they're not, most of the paintings are not here, but when I when I did Wonder Woman and a couple others, I wanted to try to bring something out. And I've seen a couple artists do it, and they do a really good job. So I, I did it with the hair, where they try to punch out add the hair. Add some texture. Add some texture to it, some thickness. Because Wonder, Wo Wonder, uh, Wonder Woman's hair and a back girl, I don't have the back girl, really thick. It's like really coming out, and you're like, some people always wanted to touch it and stuff. Yeah, I'm <laughs> looking at the Lou Ferrigno Hulk right there, yeah. and I can see it's wet. That, that <laughs> texture. It's amazing. Oh yeah, I wanted to make him really gritty. Bumped him up and went. I took one of his uh, one of his pictures. I asked him. I got to, I got to talk to him about it. It's good, like it is kind of a blessing. And um, so I picked one of them. I had to do redo the hand because it had a dumbbell. And uh, yeah, he loved it. It was cool. What would be your fa favorite fandom to draw? The X Men, your number one fandom, or what, what would be? Yeah, I like the X Men. Very diverse and a lot of characters. A lot of great characters. And uh, my, my favorite one is uh, Nightcrawler. Oh man, he's cool. Look at what I did. I just touch a heart. <laughs> it's a <just dream. laughs> Nightcrawler. Kurt Wagner. <laughs> but in the Munich Circus, they call you <laughs> the Credible Nightcrawler. I cosplay Nightcrawler. Okay, it's cool. my It's my favorite. Yeah, favorite. man. So, yes. Yeah, you, you caught me there. Uh, if, you, if you have any nah, Nightcrawler yeah. work on you, I, yeah, I may have to take it off your hands. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we can talk, man. We can okay, talk. Okay, can talk. okay. Okay. <laughs> If you could work on an IP, Ooh. if someone said, hey, we want you to be the artist for this, what would that be? Man, that's tough. Uh, that is tough. Uh, Spider-Man. I mean, I'm going classic. Just all the heartstrings here. I got to go classic. Spider-Man my favorite. Yeah superhero always all time yes so mm -hmm. yes i would love to see that uh, ground and ground and pound just night tip a night tight story that's it just a nice, simple story like a one-off i'll be fine with it love it all right i noticed that you have homelander here and one of my complaints when i talk to artists why is there no boys it's one of the most popular superhero shows yeah. but i hardly ever see it and Boom. Boom. Right here. Boom. Right here. We got another one. Now, Somewhere over there. <laughs> I'm not going to take offense. The only thing I want to see is a little bit of A-Train. You know, a little bit of A-Train. A little bit of A-Train. But I'm glad that you've got something. Yeah. We're represented. Oh, like, yes. I'm going to do A-Train. Okay. I'm going to do some other characters, too. Maybe maybe the other guy. I forget his name. He's not really. The deep? The deep? deep? Yeah. But, uh, no one cares about him, though. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the A-Train, though. Jesse? Chess T. Usher gotta Jr., show. gotta, gotta show up. I won't be wearing this when you do. <laughs> We're gonna get you some artwork. We're gonna take care of it. Won't fail. Cosplay is by Shinobi here with Cosplay Alliance. I am here with Rob Rittiano. You got it. At the Nailed Legacy it. Studio booth. 
And look, we want to talk about your art. All right. It's dope. Thank you. Now, the first thing I'm just going to point out right now just is this X-Men, this piece right here. <laughs> just, get, just, get, just, just get up in on that. What were you thinking when you put that together? Um, when I put it together, I mean, I grew up with the cartoon. I love the show. And when they announced that they were continuing it and doing everything like that, too, and coming it to ECC, because that actually was done three days prior to the con. Um, I, uh, I busted my uh, behind to go ahead and get it done as quick as possible, but also figure out, now that the roster is so much larger, yeah. how to fit ten characters on one page. Yeah. It was a challenge, but it was fun. And But I really wanted to do it because it was just a love of mine. And now people who grew up on it get to experience it again. People who it's new for now, you know, now it's like they get a whole new flavor to get to experience. And uh, it's going to be released weekly, I believe. Are, are you going to get up on Saturday mornings to watch it? Uh, as long as my uh, schedule allows it, yeah. Otherwise, I'll just I'll catch it when I can. Okay, okay. Where did you get this love of art? Honestly, it's just years of just doing it over and over again. Um, I grew up uh, in a household where my mother has a fine arts background. So I learned from her just the, uh, the joy of even drawing. And I've always really liked just comics and cartoons a lot as a kid. And, uh, you know, it just progressed. And I've had, I don't feel like I have that many talents, but at least with art, you know, I, I feel comfortable enough to at least try to, you know, pursue something and do something with it. And I've... I have uh, degrees in graphic design, I have a background in working in the tattoo industry, and I've always wanted to just do art. You know, okay. Comics have been my first and foremost passion, so really the last, I would say, six to seven years is when I've pushed myself the most to like, hey, I really want to put myself out there and be out there and, uh, you know, show everybody what I can do. And what artists inspired you growing up? Oh man, so many, so many. Uh, the biggest ones growing up were probably... Um, Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, John Romita Sr. and Jr. Uh, they were probably some of the biggest ones that um, hit me. Dan Jurgens was a big one too, especially when he did the Death of Superman run and everything. Um, it, and fortunately, I have been able to uh, make friends with them and become acquaintances at least over the years. So being able to pick their brain in person and understand their process, uh, I've appreciated and even have been able to integrate some of it in my own work. Your ink is amazing. Thank you. I mean, it's is this is this is stunning work. What would you say if you had to pick one character that you could draw for the rest of your life? Who would that be? Uh, probably Spider-Man. Spider-Man is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I grew up in New York, so the first three books I was ever introduced to were Spider-Man during the Romita runs, um, old Uncanny X-Men with uh, when Chris Claremont was writing them and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the old school Mirage comics. All New York based properties, growing up in New York, they just very, hit very close to home. But Spider-Man, especially not even as the hero, but as Peter, resonated with me a lot as a kid. I was the nerdy kid who got picked on a lot too that just wanted to fit in and have friends and hopefully a girlfriend and things like that too. And he always just fell short because he had that Parker luck. And I felt like I could relate to that. I didn't grow up with a, you know my, my aunt and uncle raising me, but in a lot of ways, I connected with him. So Spider-Man would be my go-to for sure. And if you had superpower, what would it be? Oh, all day, no question, Wolverine. Heal from anything, anything. Never have to worry about a hospital bill. Don't have to worry about health insurance, forget that. You just recover from whatever you want. And how long have you been with Le the Legacy Studio? Uh, so the Legacy Sto Studio is new, but I've been with them since really the beginning. Um, I'm fortunate enough that I'm one of the ones that they sought out. We uh, officially met last year in uh, 2023 at the Heroes Convention in Charlotte. Um, and uh, they sought me out and they wanted to talk to me. They believed in me and my artwork and uh, wanted to give me an opportunity to help each other grow and build something. And it's been very exciting so far and very rewarding. And I'm really enjoying the ride. I'm really curious to see where it's going to go. And it is so well deserved because this is some great artwork. You're a great artist, and I appreciate you for taking some time. Absolutely. To speak with me. Absolutely. Anytime. This is a blast. I'm here with Sebastian Jones, the creator of Stranger Comics. How are you doing? Doing good. How are you guys doing? Nice to see everybody. Now, I've had a chance to actually read some of. You have read it? Yes. Uh -oh. um, 
You offered me some free last last Emerald City. Okay. You offered some free PDFs. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. It is amazing. That's very kind. Thank you so and much. I love that it's personal color as well. Sure, sure, absolutely. Was was that intentional? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 for sure. So uh, I started creating the world of Asunder when I was uh, a wee boy in England many, many, many years ago. And I'm being a mix, so I kind of wanted to essentially, I guess, find myself within the stories I wanted to create. So uh, Navi's been with me for a long time. As I've grown, she's grown with me. Okay. And like the art, like yeah. who did you look up to growing up? Because this art is really distinctive. Um, different, different artists that I liked is, um, wow. I mean, inspired by everyone from Jack Kirby to watching Akira Kurosawa movies, um, uh, Frank Frazetta, um, but also listening to a lot of Coltrane. I mean, I'm usually inspired by sound um, first. Yes. Now, if we look up, there's a there's a there's a Viola Davis. Viola Davis, yes, huge honor. How does that feel? It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible to have her. She did the hard. She did the uh, Ford in the hardcover for Niobe, um, which was a huge honor. Um, yeah, I think it's um, anyone that can of her. I mean, anyone of her caliber. There is only one her, but uh, anyone that l would be willing to lend their 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 signature and their um, their stamp of approval, their validation to what we've created is always an honor. And then she just reach out because it was something that she was really interested in. Um, her company was very interested in making um, making this stuff. At, a, at one point in time, and who knows what will happen in the future, but yes. It's amazing. Thank you. It's so amazing. And can you tell everyone where we can find you? And uh, actually, could you tell them a little bit about one of the stories? Yeah, for sure. So this is Niobe Shear's life. It's the most famous one we have in the world of Asunder. I co-wrote this one with Amanda Stenberg, who you might know her as Rue in the Hunger Games, who's gonna be the star of the new Star Wars franchise, The Acolyte. Um, but the most, the first one is the Untamed. That's where it all begins. This is a story of a man who's stuck in purgatory. After ten years, the devil comes along and he says, "I'll give you seven days to reap the seven souls that murdered you and your family." He says, "Sign me up." <laughs> the glimpse into the Untamed. Seven days, seven souls. Amazing. Thanks for taking some time to speak with Thank me among much. this hectic Emerald City Comic Con. Yes, indeed, indeed. It's an amazing time. Love Emerald City Comic Con. I have a panel today. Been selling like crazy. It's a wonderful day. So, yes. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Boop. Bing.